Microsoft announcing Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 20161. These builds are from our active development branch and are not tied to any upcoming Windows 10 release. Insiders in the dev channel are getting the latest code from engineers. Microsoft introducing some cool new features and new build, however many of these features are rolling out to a subset of insiders in the dev channel at first, to help us quickly identify issues that may impact performance and reliability. This means insiders may not see some of these features right away, but rest assured they will be gradually rolled out to everyone in the dev channel. Check out what the team has been working on. Let's take a look. What's new in build 2016? But before that, click on subscribe button and bell icon to get Windows related videos on your feed. Also like, share, and comment. 1. Theme aware tiles and start. Freshening up the start menu with a more streamlined design that removes the solid color backplates behind the logos in the apps list and applies a uniform partially transparent background to the tiles. This design creates a beautiful stage for your apps, especially the Fluent design icons for Office and Microsoft Edge, as well as the redesigned icons for built-in apps like Calculator, Mail, and Calendar that we started rolling out earlier this year. This refined start design looks great in both dark and light theme, but if you are looking for a splash of color, first make sure to turn on Windows Dark theme, and then toggle Show Accent Color on the following surfaces for Start, Taskbar, and Action Center under Settings, Personalization, Color to elegantly apply your accent color to the start frame and tiles. Want the amazing desktop background shown in the screenshot above? Download Microsoft Pride 2020 Flags theme from the Microsoft Store, and apply it from Setting 2. All Plus tab between apps and sites. Are you a multitasker? We have exciting news for you. Beginning with today's build, all tabs open in Microsoft Edge will start appearing in all plus tab, not just the active one in each browser window. We're making this change so you can quickly get back to whatever you were doing wherever you were doing it. If you prefer fewer tabs of the classic all plus tab experience, we have added some settings for you under settings, system, multitasking. You can configure all plus tab to only show your last three or five tabs, or choose to turn this feature off completely. This is just the beginning of productivity enhancements coming to Microsoft Edge, stay tuned. 3. A more personalized taskbar for new users. Microsoft helps customers get the most out of their PCs from day one, and that starts with offering a cleaner, more personalized out-of-box experience to give you the content you want and less clutter. This provides us with a flexible cloud-driven infrastructure to test customer reception of default taskbar content and tailor these layouts based on user and device signal. We will evaluate the performance of individual default properties, monitoring diagnostic data and user feedback, to assess an audience's reception. Using this information, we will tune default layouts to minimize clutter and perceptions of bloatware. Please note that this experience is limited to new account creation or first logon scenarios. We will not use programmable taskbar to alter the taskbar layout on existing accounts. 4. Improving the notification experience. Microsoft making some changes to improve the notifications experience in Windows 10. First, know where your toast is coming from by checking out the app logo at the top. Done with the notification. Select the X on the top right corner to quickly dismiss and move on with your life. And second, turning off the Focus Assist notification and summary toast by default, so no longer let users know that Focus Assist has been turned on through an automatic rule via notification. This can be changed back to the previous behavior via settings. 5. Making settings even better. Continuing to work on bringing capabilities from control panel forward into settings. As part of this ongoing effort, migrating information found in Control Panel System page into the Settings About page under Settings, System, About. Links that would open the System page in Control Panel will now direct you to About in Settings. We are also bringing new improvements like making your device information copyable and streamlining the security information shown. And don't worry if you're looking for more advanced controls that lived in the System page in Control Panel, you can still get to them from the Modern About page if you need them. 6. Improving the tablet experience for two-in-one devices. Previously, when detaching the keyboard on a two-in-one device, a notification toast would appear asking if you wanted to switch into tablet mode. If you selected yes, you would switch into tablet mode. If you chose no, it would give you the new tablet posture experience introduced in the May 2020 update, or simply the desktop on earlier versions of Windows 10. Further updating this experience by changing the default, so that this notification toast no longer appears, and instead will switch you directly into the new tablet experience, with some improvements for touch. You can change this setting by going to Settings, System, Tablet. Some users may have already seen this change on Surface devices. And to address confusion with some users getting stuck in tablet mode on non-touch devices, we are removing the tablet mode quick action on non-touch devices. In addition, new logic is incorporated to let users boot into the appropriate mode, according to the mode they will last in, and whether the keyboard is attached or not. Other updates for insiders. 
Windows Calculator Graphing Mode feature now rolling out to the public. Microsoft happy to announce that the graphing mode feature we released to insiders in January is now rolling out to the general public. Adding support for graphing was one of our top feature requests, so we're excited to bring this feature to our users. Graphing capabilities are also essential for students who are beginning to explore linear algebra. With this feature, we hope to empower students to learn mathematics by improving their conceptual understanding and attitudes towards math. Key features 1. Plot one or more equations on the graph. Enter multiple equations so that you can compare plots against each other and see interactions between the lines. 2. Add equations with variables. If you enter equations with variables, e.g., y equals mx plus b, you'll be able to update the value of those variables to see the changes live on the graph. 3. Analyze the graph. Trace plots with your mouse or keyboard, and analyze equations to help identify key graph features, like the x and y intercepts. Since, Microsoft released the feature in preview earlier this year, made lots of improvements based on your feedback in Feedback Hub and on GitHub, like introducing a brand new dark theme graph and more line customization options, adding error handling for when you try to plot an equation that isn't quite right, and improving the overall experience when tracing or plotting multiple equations at the same time. Here are some fixed issues. 1. An issue resulting in insiders experiencing bug checks when connecting and interacting with Inbox controller. 2. An issue causing some games and applications to crash at launch or fail to install. 3. An issue resulting in Microsoft Edge not navigating to websites when WDAG was enabled on the last two flights. 4. An issue which was increasing log off time in recent builds. 5. An issue with the Chinese Pinyin IME where after setting your preferred IME toolbar orientation, you may not be able to change it again after rebooting your PC. 6. An issue causing reset this PC to always show the error there, was a problem resetting this PC when launched from settings in the last few builds. 7. An issue resulting in some Bluetooth devices no longer showing their battery level in settings in the last few builds. 8. An issue where settings would crash if you went to settings, privacy, microphone, while a WIN32 app was recording audio. 9. An issue where if sound settings showed no input devices found in the input dropdown and you clicked it, then settings would crash. 10. An issue where when adding a printer, the dialog might crash if you navigate it through to the add a printer driver dialog in recent builds. 11. A graphics related issue resulting in some users experiencing bug checks. Here are some known issues. 1. Microsoft working on a fix for an issue causing some systems to crash with a hypervisor error bug check. 2. Microsoft looking into reports of the update process hanging for extended periods of time when attempting to install a new build. 3. Microsoft aware of an issue where Notepad might fail to reopen files which were automatically saved during a PC restart, if that option is enabled in settings. Documents can be recovered from percentile O C A L A P P D A T A percent Notepad. We're investigating reports of the screen becoming dimmer after upgrading to the previous build. 4. Microsoft aware of an issue where Task Manager reports 0.00 GHz CPU usage in the Performance tab. 5. Microsoft investigating reports that when you press space while using the Korean IME in certain apps, the last character is deleted. 6. Microsoft working to fine-tune the tile animations and start to avoid flashes of color. 7. For insiders with the new All Plus tab experience mentioned above, please note that the setting under Settings, System, Multitasking to set All Plus tab to open Windows, only currently doesn't work. Hope you guys, this video really helpful for you, do not forget to subscribe, click on bell icon, and follow on Facebook, to get new stuff. Also like, share, and comment. See you in next video.